<laughs> we are going to kick this off with the massively disappointing Los Angeles Chargers. Um, pretty much anything that could go wrong went wrong for this team last year. But obviously, as you can see, they made a lot of moves to try to fix that. Um, you know, uh, Kyle, we're going to let you lead off here. What are your thoughts on the Chargers? Ah, you want my 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 thoughts on the Chargers, huh? Okay. <laughs> well, it's from the I, guy with I, the Raiders. I, <laughs> hoodie, like, Raider. we know Hell this yeah. is going to be super unbiased. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. I try to be um, unbiased. I'll show my bias probably in a little <laughs> bit. Uh, so overall, the team, the team since even since Herbert has been around, has looked good. But it just all comes down to coaching. And forgive, if, forgive me if I'm wrong. I don't. I didn't keep up with it. Did they get a new coach or do they have the same same guy? Oh yeah, they did. Jim Harbaugh. Oh, and sh- you're so right. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Funnily <laughs> enough, Justin did not put him in the key additions. Yeah, I was I was reading through it real quick. Like, maybe he put it in there. <laughs> That's right. And I feel dumb. But uh, I think they'll do better than 5-12. and 12, But um, Harbaugh, while he did good with the Niners coaching, he also did lose his locker room really quickly after going the three straight NFC championships. So... Maybe they'll do well starting off, and then eventually he'll lose them, or maybe he'll be great all the way around. But uh, this season, they'll definitely do better than last year, especially especially <clears throat> the ass whipping they got from the Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Well, that was like a Thursday night, wasn't it? Where it was like yeah. six and nothing at halftime, or something stupid like that. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a Thursday night game. I was just like, I can't believe this is happening. I just kept watching it. I was in awe. <laughs> wasn't that Antonio Pierce's like one of his? early games uh it was his second or third because the week before they lost to the vikings seven to three so they were just like on a on a <laughs> on a tear <laughs> i'm like all they had to do I was do score that. oh no it was seven zero my bad no wait it was three zero wasn't it <laughs> three zero at one point or was it th- you, you know what i'm losing my train of thought i should have looked this <laughs> up ahead of time no <laughs> but yeah no it, it, it was one of those games where i'm like man the defense played so well all the offense had to do was score once. <laughs> so, and then that Thursday night game was just like the train wreck that you just could not turn away from. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was it was pretty sweet, especially on a short notice. I was just like, yes. <laughs> uh, I do enjoy seeing blowouts because it means at least one team has offense. So, <laughs> <laughs> luckily for you, it was the Raiders that week. Yeah, I was happy. Um, the chargers funnily enough uh are basically getting all the rejected ravens players um especially their backfield so (laughs) it's gonna be interesting i do think they're gonna be more like have herbert do more of a um like play action than just straight up passing it um because harbaugh's um mo is running the football he they're big on that so yeah. J.K. Dobbins and uh, Gus the Bus, they're really good at it. Um, I hate the fact that they lost Mike Williams to mm. New York, right? Mm. Yep, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Um, I do like Vlad McConkie, but like they're different players. So it's not like they really got like one for one exchange. They just got Vlad McConkie for a different receiving position um uh eckler he um it's it's gonna hurt uh him leaving but if dobbins can stay healthy i think he can take over the uh passing back role and then gus the bus can be the the bus um (laughs) i think they're doing i do think they're really really doing good at like revamping the roster shedding some of the older guys and then um like getting getting still keeping some vets in the locker room and then um i do think jim harbaugh the quarterback guru who really could only throw the ball what like 60 55 yards on the quarterback challenge um (laughs) I do think that uh, he's going to unlock a new tier for Justin Herbert, and I think we're all going to be excited to see it 
probably not you, Kyle, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of us are going to be excited to see what what he has in store. And I think the big question mark is now going to be the defense. Can they stay healthy? Yeah, and I, I think you touched on it pretty good there. Where you know, I we we very much you look at those additions and you very much can see Harbaugh is just trying to establish his identity you know he wants to ground and pound first um you know be able to pass second they have an okay receiving core like you know they're not going to carry the team but i don't think that's the plan anyways right now they just want to pound it with gust of us and really just control the clock and i mean you could see you know matt our favorite term bigger meteor men i mean bigger meteor men on the offensive line and defensive line like they are they are getting bigger up front to really impose their will on teams. At least that's yeah, what they Puna to Ford, do. them getting Puna Ford doesn't seem like a like that big of an acquisition. But if you look at their run defense last year, he's gonna plug up the middle. Their run defense has sucked for like five years, not even just last year. <laughs> yeah. My thing is like if Joey Bosa can return to his uh early career form, they got something going here. Yeah. Yeah, they still have Khalil back on the team, too. Yeah. They added Denzel Perryman, also a former Raider, who led the league in tackles not that long ago. Yeah, and he's going to be another big one in run support. Mm-hmm. So, like, but yep. that was- the Raiders got the Chargers general manager. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, don't remind me. <laughs> I, I actually like him a lot. Mm-hmm. Tom Telesco. He- He's good. It's yeah. just like it's just like, is he gonna sabotage us or not? I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> See, for GMs, as long as they're making an effort to stack the roster, I think that you have to give them two head coaches before you get you fire someone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, I think he, he got the talent together on the team. Brandon Staley, excellent defensive coordinator. Maybe not the best head coach. Maybe he just didn't have the good player co- play callers. Um, Jim Harbaugh fills the weaknesses that um, Brandon Staley had, uh, but I don't think Tom Telesco really should have been fired. But I guess that's yeah. why I'm not an NFL owner. That and I <laughs> lack billions of dollars. Right. Yeah. No, I, I didn't think I didn't think it was right either. Like he got tied to Brandon Staley, and Staley just was not a good coach. He really wasn't. You know, like. I mean, hiring your coordinators is part of being a head coach. He failed at that. And there's just so many issues of game management um, that we saw throughout the years that really kept the Chargers with the constant problems of losing one-score games. It's something that's plagued them the entire career of Justin Herbert so far, and it's not even his fault. Um, So I'm very curious to see what Harbaugh can do to turn that around. I feel like that's what makes him dangerous is that he could turn that, that part around pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, that's enough but, Chargers talk. I think 